Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News in Shinrin Yoku on a Saturday evening around 10 p.m. Volcanoes have been blocking the sun since the sun existed. Huge outputs of volcanic gases and dust shot into the atmosphere and the stratosphere cause cooling on the planet Earth. Violent eruptions as well as nonviolent eruptions. But the big culprit here is VEI 5, 6, 7 or greater. These volcanoes have been proven to cool the earth. And not only that, they've been proven to erupt on particular times in paleoclimatic history, more importantly, grand solar minimums. And here you can see Laki, Tambora, Casaguina, and Krakatoa, say it ain't soa, all erupting on solar minimum platforms, dropping the average land temperature on Earth by up to one degree. There have been many studies that show their Holocene large volcanic eruptions also correspond to solar max and minimum but particularly solar maxes when the sunspots are at a minimum level. So low sunspots equal big booms and white screens, apparently. <laughs> now, what we know about solar grand minimas are their start and stop date because they've already passed. The modern minimum we're probably already in and it won't bottom out until about 2035. But we, what we can see is that large volcanic eruptions cause cooling. Here, the left axis is temperature anomaly. And you can see the arrows here. Major eruptions, VEI 5, 4, 5 or greater. And they cause major drop downs in temperature globally. Samalas in 1257. Right at the kickoff of the Wolf Minimum. Kuwait at 1452, right at the kickoff of the Sporer Minimum. Santorini, 1650, right in the Maunder. Tambora, 1815, right in the Dalton. So all the major eruptions since 1200 have occurred during sol grand solar minimums. And we're living the next one. Not only that, dynasties collapsed during these times. The Jin Dynasty in 1210. The Southern Song Dynasty in 1270. The Yon Dynasty in 1380. The Zheng He Explorations in 1442, cut to an end by the Spore Minimum. The Ming Dynasty Collapse of 1640. Hello, Maunder Minimum. The Northern Chinese Famine in 18. 70s, Dalton minimum. And now we have the Reykjanes Ridge exploding in the last f several hours. Eruption is imminent. And eruptions in the Cascade Range during the past 4,000 years line up 200 years with seven erupting volcanoes during that Dalton minimum. Where was it? There it is. Right there around 1810, seven volcanoes going off. Dalton minimum, right here. Seven volcanoes going off. Now what does that mean for the Cascadia fault zone? If seven of these volcanoes are going off or seven new ones, how will that transfer, well, power? Well, those who cannot learn from history are doomed to repeat it, according to many smart people. And these are signs of the times. Indeed. <laughs> Where volcanoes, they be exploding. They just can't be enlarged and explode at the same time. Now, we've been warning about this for quite some time. And it's not you, it's not CO2. 
It's certainly not the Jiffy app that really won't work for us. But it is certainly the sun. Directly correlated to grand solar minimums are major eruptions on planet Earth, which cool the planet. And you're living the next one. Those who cannot learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Will you repeat it? Yes, we just did. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. As we expect, as many as seven volcanoes on the Cascadia to be erupting in the next 10 years. Lassen Peak, Mount Shasta, Crater Lake, Medicine Lake, Newberry, Three Sisters, Mount Jefferson, Mount Hood, Mount Adams, Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, Glacier Peak, and Mount Baker. Now we've seen upticks at Rainier, St. Helens, Hood. What's next? Who's next? That's boom to knowledge and to preparedness. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance as volcanoes. Well, they be exploding and dropping the temperature like they always do. History repeats itself. And if we do not learn from it, we will be doomed to repeat what happened in the past. And that's a boom. Click on one of the boxes to gain more knowledge. And learn to grow food. It's spring, ding, ding, in the Northern Hemisphere. And most of you are watching from there. What are your plans? Nee, nee, nee.